is right here. I have box one, two, and three. She sent me three boxes and I have to open them in order. Hey, Bubble Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. So just ignore this stuff back here. That's stuff that's coming to whatnot, or I'm going to be listing it or something. It's just stuff. What we're going to focus on is right here. I have box one, two, and three. And these are from Terry Mindful Recycle. If you don't know about her channel, Oh my goodness, she is like the biggest bolo money, bolo money, big money bolo finder ever. <laughs> Check out her channel. It is incredible. But she sent me some boxes to open and I'm going to do a video. And the last time she did this, I'm going to say it was probably close to two years ago. And it was so much fun. She sent me like these little clues and... um I had to guess what the things were, but I don't know what she did this time, but she sent me three boxes and I have to open them in order. So let's see what Terry's up to. Again, that is Terry Mindful Recycle. Go and subscribe to her channel. Not because she sent me stuff, because you're gonna learn a ton from her. She is incredible. Okay, so we're gonna see what she sent me here. I'm so excited. Okay. Let me see if I can get it open. I did cut off all the addresses and all of that stuff, but um, I hurt my shoulder the other day. And when I go like this, ooh, I think it was when I was doing that whatnot show and I had to like lean all the different ways to pick up the stuff I was selling. Oh my goodness. Okay, here we go. Courtney, this is just for you to read. So this is private. I'm going to read that later. Okay. You can read this one out loud or not if you decide to do this, if you decide to do a video on this. Okay. Well, of course I'm going to do a video. Okay. It says, Courtney, I wanted to send you another mystery box because it's just so fun, but mostly because I really appreciate you and everything you have done for my channel. There is no way I've, I would have gotten monetized without you. So this is a monetized celebration, sending a little love in each package. I wasn't going to do the clue thing again, but couldn't help myself. LOL, Terry. Okay. So Terry is a member of my Bolo Buddies YouTube channel, and she does get shout outs because she's a member, but she's fantastic. And you guys... I shout out people, even if they're not members, I have a Facebook group where you can go and share your bolos and your bolos will be featured, even if you're not a member. So I still help people that are not members. Terry is incredible. So, um, yeah, just check her out. Okay. Do you recognize the, this design and creator? Ooh, Ooh, this is my clue. All right. You guys help me out here. Do you, I feel like I do, but I'm not really sure. I'm going to give you guys a close up because I bet you, some of you may know. <laughs> Is it Daisy Kingdom? Oh, I'm probably wrong. I'm so bad. If you go back and watch um, my other video, I'll try to pop it up and share it down in the description. I failed miserably at the clues. I am not a trivia person at all. But it's fun to try. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay. This is so fun. Um, oh, it's Mary Inglebright. I should have known that. Okay, so this is uh, Mary Inglebright stationery. And I talk about Mary Inglebright all the time. I knew it was Daisy King Kingdom or something that I have talked about before or sold because I kind of knew the pattern, but I kind of didn't. And I do talk about this brand all the time. So um, I recently did a video on Bolo Stationery. And 
Terry was featured because, oh my goodness, she hit the jackpot. So that video looks like this. <laughs> Go check it out. Okay. Thank you, Terry. I'm excited to check these out. Okay. Um, who was always in Mr. McGregor's garden? Um, the bunny. Oh, the bunny. Peter Rabbit, right? Peter Rabbit? <laughs> Am I right? I just want to know if I'm right. <laughs> She's so funny. Can you imagine how long this took her to come up with all these clues and little, oh, I think I'm right. Point for me, point for me. Okay. Oh, these are so cute. Look at them, they're little stickers. Oh my goodness, I can't. I can't, they're so cute. Oh, look at this one. Bunny costume seals. They are adorable. Oh, thank you, Terry. They're so cute. Okay. Um, okay. Oh, I got, I got packaging material right here. What ornaments are made by someone with the initial CR and has a little star logo? Careful, hand-blown and fragile. I know who this is. This is Christopher Radko. Um, I know that symbol and I know CR. Christopher Radko. What did she send me? Christopher Radko is amazing. All right. She's like, be careful as I'm like shaking it around. I don't want to. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Oh my goodness. There's two. Oh, oh my gosh. It's so cute. It's a little bug and it says just married and love on the front. How cute is that? Christopher Radko. So it's gla a glass ornament. Oh, it's got a little windshield of wipers painted on. Oh, that is cute. Oh, I love it. Okay. The next one is a, it looks like a wedding cake and it's got a 20 on it. I wonder what that means. 20. So I'll have to look it up, but that is Christopher Radko also. And you can see the little star up there. That is how you know. So I wonder if these go together, like it's a wedding cake and a car. Thank you, Terry. Thank you so much. And I will have Terry linked down below. Um, I'm guessing if you saw the stationary video a while back, you probably already subbed to her because you're right, like, whoa, she's incredible. All right, we have another little, there's no clue. No clue. She didn't give me a clue. All right. Oh, how cute is this? A little music box and you have to wind it on the bottom and I bet it moves around how cute is that I'm not gonna wind it because then we'll be listening to it but um I bet I bet it plays a Christmas song that is so cute look how darling that is that's cute I'm gonna sit that one up there so I don't break it okay um this one says top Guess what it is? I don't know, but I'm guessing I have to open it from the top. I know I need a box cutter. Somebody told me you're going to cut yourself. I have. I've pinched myself actually with the scissors in the middle. Okay. What is this? Oh, it's in there. It is in there. Woo. <sighs> It says, now this is something I don't know. Quilting Katie, first edition, 2000, fr special friends featuring the artwork of Sherry Buck Baldwin, 2000, Lang and Wise. So the last time she sent me a box, I listed everything and I have been selling the items. Like, I, I think I'm almost sold out, honestly, um, but everything she sent me was incredible. So I'm guessing this is a really neat, incredible piece also. Look how cute it is. So there she is. So I got to look all this stuff up. I'm not familiar with this. So she has me stumped. She has me stumped on this one. And I have another packaging box. All right. Awesome. I'm going to sit this back here. You guys, 
there's something else in here. And packaging material, bubbles. Okay, here, we have a clue. So if you recognize the other pattern, this one is the same creator. Was this the Mary Inglebray pattern? Is that what she's referencing? So Terry shops, yep, at a lot of estate sales and she finds some really amazing stuff. Okay, what on earth is this? <laughs> oh, Mary Inglebright's Anne Est Est Estelle. Estelle. Open it, open it, open it. Oh my goodness. It's all fancy. Oh my goodness. She is darling. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Her cowgirl boots, you guys. I can't. Look how cute she is. <laughs> Let me see her cow cowgirl boots. Let me move this hat over. She has on little cowgirl boots. That is darling. So that is by Mary Inglebright's Anne Estelle. So cute. The Robert Toner Doll Company. Um, I feel like um, the Funky Pickle Thrifter just sold a doll by that company. I'll have to go look. I think I featured it in one of my Bolo Buddies videos. The Funky Pickle Thrifter is also an incredible Bolo Finder, so go sub her up. Okay, so we are going on to box two. <laughs> what do we got in this one? Oh, boy. Let me get it uncut. Uncut? Is that a word? Let me cut it open. All right, let's do this. Okay. Who puts out the best Christmas carnival ride items? That's going to probably be Mr. Christmas, right? Maybe. Let's see if I'm right. Mr. Christmas. I know, Terry. Terry, I know how you source. Oh, these are so cool. It's a little Ferris wheel. Animated musical Ferris wheel. It says, try me. Oh, my goodness. It's a music box. Wow, that is super cool. Man, I'm doing pretty good. I am guessing right. Oh, no. It's a merry-go-round. Oh my goodness, and it plays Jingle Bells. These are so stinking cute. Look, I've not seen these before. I love them. Oh my goodness, I love them. Okay, let's see what else we have. Um, I wonder if I'm supposed to do... Well, this has writing, so we'll wait. This is just because I know you love vintage toys, especially from Japan. She's so sweet. I do love vintage toys from Japan. It's one of my favorite things to sell. Okay. Oh, it's so cute. So cute. It's, um, whoa. Don't break it. It is by Takara, T-A-K-A-R-A, -A -A, Japan. I've not heard of it, but look how darling it is. And it's got the little doors that open. And it's got some paper in here. And it looks like it's got like um, a little drawer vanity thing inside. It was sitting in here. And the little drawers, oops, it's upside down. The little drawers open and shut. It's so cute. And there's a couple hangers in here. Oh my goodness, it's so cute. Love that. And it's got a mirror. You guys, it has a mirror for real. How stinking cute. I love it. All right. All right. What's in this one? It's like Christmas. <laughs> oh my goodness. I love it. I don't know what it is, but I love it. Copyright Shackman, another made in Japan. Look at it. 
<laughs> Look at the little wobbly legs. Do, 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 do. I don't know. It's probably um, something fancy and I'm boinking around her little legs, making her shake. The little wood legs. Look, there's a little tag on the back. How cool is that? She can sit. She can put her arm up. Hello. Hello, everybody. It's so cute. It's incredible, actually. I love it. I love it. Okay, let's move on to box three. Terry, I appreciate you, but you did not have to do this, <laughs> but I appreciate it. It's super fun. It's super exciting. And I love all the clues. Okay. Let's see. All right. Oh boy. Here we go. More clues. Okay. It says some parents thought these dolls were from the nineties. We scandalous because of their eyeshadow and their big glossy lips. I think they're adorable. Some parents thought these dolls from the 90s. Oh, were scandalous because of their eyeshadow and their big eyes. Dolls from the 90s. Okay, so I'm thinking of like now dolls. I have no idea. Dolls from the 90s. I think I've sold these before. Oh, no, it's not what I thought. It's the Bratz dolls. Oh, my goodness. This is so cool. It's little Bratz. I have definitely sold these before, but I've never had a new old stock one. What? Check it out. How cool is that? It's a fashion tote. Mix and match. How fun, right? Yeah, they are fancy. They got on big makeup. Oh, and she's got her whole little makeup accessory kit here. How cute is that? And this is dated 2002, but these uh, do go back to the nineties for sure. So 2002, it's vintage. Okay. This one has a sticky note. Who was the cassette play playing talking bear of the eighties? Oh, oh, um, oh goodness. Ah, Teddy Ruxpin. Am I right? Let's find out if I'm right. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I'm right. But look at these. I've never even seen these. Oh, they're so cool. They're little mini figs. Not mini figs. Rachel Strickland would tell you that a mini figure is only a Lego. I have it in my Vero video. You got to go watch it. Oh my goodness. Look, they're figures. They're small figures, toys. Oh, oh, how cool is that? I love it. I love it. I love it. These are so fun. So it's a little set. Um, I know these two are Teddy Ruxpin. I didn't know about these two. They are dated. Um, wow. Uh, 19, I think it says 86. Wow, I've never seen these. Newton, Newton Toys, huh? Let me see if I'm seeing that right. Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah, Teddy Ruxpin. Those are cool. Those are really cool. I think they're, I, I know those two are Teddy Ruxpin. I don't know if those two are or not. I'm assuming they are since she sent them together, but a little Google Lens will pick that up. Okay, this says, who was Pokey's friend? Who was Pokey's friend? Pokey? Like Pokemon? Pokey? Pokey? I don't know who Pokey is. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's hilarious. Uh, Pokey. I'll have to look that one up, Terry. But this guy looks... Oh, it's Gumby! Oh, it's Gumby. Terry, thank you for all the thought that went into this. You are so sweet. Look how cute this guy is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He says, um, Gumby, 1988 Prima Toy Company. How cool is that? He's so cool. Oh, my goodness. Look at his big legs. 
I love it. And then we've got Gumby and Pokey. Yeah, I don't know who Pokey is, but it must be maybe the horse because we've got this vintage patch. How cool is that? I love it. And then we have a green box with a rubber band around it. And it's wrapped in paper. Shall we look inside? Ooh. Oh, now we know who Pokey is. They are thimbles. And it is Gumby and Pokey. I can't show my husband these because he likes thimbles. <laughs> That's one of his things. He's like, I'm, I'm kind of getting into thimbles. He went to an estate sale and bought a ton of thimbles. These are so cute. Oh, my goodness. I love it. I love it. Thank you. And there's more. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Okay. When my computer was broken, you did a video for me. What items was I featuring? So Terry messaged me and she's like, my computer's broken. And we were talking about her bolos that were going on. And she found all this amazing stationery at a at an estate sale. And when I tell you it was incredible, it was incredible. And I was like, hey, look, I, I'll do a video. You want me to do a video? I'll do a video. So I went in and I featured her, um, all of her solds. And we talked about stationery, vintage stationery. And I put some clips of her in it. And I did the video and she messaged me afterwards. She's like, you didn't put anything else in the video but me. And I'm like, Terry, it was all about you, girl. <laughs> So anyway, that is what she's talking about, the stationary video. So what did she send me here? Oh, my goodness. Wow. This top one is Mary Hamilton. Terry, this is just too much. Wow. It's incredible. You guys, it's Mary Hamilton stationery, and it is sealed in the original packaging. And if you go watch this video, she hit the jackpot. I mean, I'm talking a once in a lifetime find and she just shared it with me. That is so sweet. Thank you, Terry. That's very kind. That is so cool. And then look at this cute one. Um, you guys, this is Hallmark and it says 20 decorated sheets, 20 plain sheets, and then 20 envelopes. So very, very uh, collectible, these, if you ever find them. And definitely go watch that video because um, just wow. Okay, this one is Hallmark also. And this one is adorable. Oh, my goodness. Look at it. It's got the little animals going around the, the little... Uh, I did this in kindergarten. So I have one of the worst memories ever. <laughs> I feel like I don't remember much. And I remember being in kindergarten and having these ribbons hooked up to this pole. And we had to do this. I remember that. Like, I don't know why that memory. I must have thought it was really fun. But I remember it was kindergarten. So this like brings back a memory for me. And this is also steel sealed. It's got the original plastic. And it's Hallmark, and it's incredible, and I love it. And it brought back a memory from my childhood. How cute is that? And this one is also Hallmark, and it has an owl on it. Oh, I don't know if she meant to do that or not, but there's a turtle, a koala, and an owl. Oh, my goodness. Terry, I'm going to have to tell you a story. Um, wow, that is incredible. I love it so cute. Oh my goodness. It's so cute. And again, Hallmark and sealed. That is a really nice gift. Thank you, Terry. So I am going to research these things and they will be listed in my eBay store. And every time I shout out Terry, I'll be like, Terry got me this. And I'm going to say, thank you, Terry. Uh, go follow mine, but recycle because she's incredible. Um, but yeah, I'm super, super excited to get these items listed. And I love learning. And there's a lot of these things that I'm familiar with, but I don't know a ton about them. So um, especially this little doll, like I just love her. She's so cute. She is so cute. 
So anyway, um, thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, super shout out to Terry. Go over to her channel and tell her Bolo Buddy sent you. And um, Terry, thank you. And thank you all for being here. Thank you for watching. I just hit a huge milestone on my channel. 25,000 subscribers. What is even happening? <laughs> when I started this channel, like on a whim, holy cow, I never, never, never. I just can't believe it. Thank you guys all so much for your support. Um, just watching and uh, following me and just, I appreciate the support so, so much. So I just want you all to know that I appreciate you and go sub up my friend Terry and I will see you guys at the next one. Thanks for watching.